the myriad tributaries of aid flowing daily into Ukraine offer optimism to the world by upholding the Ukrainians' historic illustration of indomitable resistance. Ukraine's achievement will certainly enter the history books, not just along the continuum of Thermopylae onwards as a feat of arms, but also in the tradition of Dunkirk as an example of massive volunteer mobilization. The country had to fight on several fronts while mobilizing help from outside and organizing within at breakneck speed to absorb it efficiently. Imagine the potential for chaos. There were certainly chaos enough in the first weeks when refugees froze on the borders, trucks and cars waited for days in lines going in and out of the country, while food and tents were in short supply. Not without tragic loss, a system evolved of aid coming in from and through neighboring countries in a sort of funnel effect. Organizing transport to Ukraine for the goods proved to be a challenging process. Representatives from all major freight airlines in the U.S. told Axenia Krupinko that it would take weeks before a plane could be ready, and that was on top of the staggering estimate of $1 million to charter a plane. Ukrainians asking for any leads to airline carriers operating out of Eastern Europe. Krupinko was introduced to Igor Smelansky, the CEO of the Ukrainian Postal Service, Ukroposhta, to fund the flight transportation plan, Krupinko immediately called everyone she knew, in particular, the co-founder and president of the Revival Foundation, Timuri Yakubashvili. They understood that timely aid was a matter of life and death for Ukrainians. Miraculously, Yakubashvili, former Georgian deputy prime minister and diplomat, connected Krupinko to a donor, David Kazarashvili, Kazarashvili, an entrepreneur and the former defense minister of Georgia, agreed to cover the cost of the first plane, thereby demonstrating the viability of its intricate logistics. Ukroposhta then became the major driving force of the operation and continued with especially allocated funds, which have now run dry. Still, Georgians were involved in facilitating the process at every stage. The agreement had an added benefit. With the help of Windros, Ukroposta intentionally kept the lifeblood open of Ukraine's trade. As a result, by the beginning of March, the first plane traveled from the U.S. to Poland. Krupinko had essentially established an international supply line within a matter of days. To read more, visit Forbes.com.